Alright, here's the synopsis for the positive pressure bleed. What the positive pressure bleed does for you is it gives you a much more firm lever feel that you just can't get from a haze brake any other way. So first thing you do is you set up your brake like this. The system is open, the bleed screw is open, the pads are in their normal position, and I just had to bleed so we'll swing around to the other side so you can see how I've done this. You can see that's the bleed niblet from Hayes, the tubing, and the bottle they normally suggest that you use. So you go through the bleed process by simply pressing on the plunger on the syringe and you can see the fluid move. I've already done this back and forth several times. You can also push down the lever but be careful to go slow and once you stop seeing air bubbles coming out back and forth then you know you're good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this part out. We're going to put the cap that belongs in here in place and we'll move to the back. Once the cap is in place, the bleed screw is still open, you apply positive pressure to your syringe and watch down in here to see whether or not the brake pads move in and out. Once you see the brake pads are activated, you press on the syringe to the, just to the, with enough pressure to make the pads begin their movement, back off a little bit, and lock down this nut. That will put positive pressure in the whole system. And what that means is when you squeeze the lever at the front, as soon as the lever begins to move, you're going to have pad movement. And that takes out the little bit of play that's normally in a Hayes HFX9 brake. And this concludes the video for how to apply a positive pressure bleed. For further bleed instructions, feel free to check out other people on YouTube. Take care.